Well, it finally happened. Jay Beagle received his actual card art for being a team builder. Looks phenomenal, just as good as his card actually is. As in my opinion, it's been one of the best they've released so far in NHL 23, and now he's finally got the card art. So if you've been waiting like everyone else has, and you've been staring at Jay Beagle's headshot on your first line, you don't have to worry about that anymore. He finally gets upgraded to his team builder card art. However, we've also got some newer cards to go and take a look at, starting first with this 86 Lars Ellers. The reason, the reason I want to bring this up is I like to show you guys cards, really just the ones that I think are worth worth looking at and if you just started the game you're no money spent you're looking for a cheap left-handed winger uh you could grab this Lars Zeller 89 speed 89 acceleration but he's six foot two his shot is absolutely abysmal but he's got 90 hand stats and he's gonna go for the bare minimum however it's like actually comical to see a card that has under 80 shooting but they did something called twisted tuesdays where they take stats from different players and throw it in somewhere else if anyone tries this card out let me know uh, i'd be stunned you'd at least be able to hold on to the puck for forever with them and maybe able to make passes i don't know it, interesting to see though i've also got this 87 john gibson that has 40 aggression 93 speed uh and then everything else is kind of in the middle 80s with silver post to post you know my stance on goaltenders but i'm just pointing them out because hey he might work i don't know shay theodore gets an 88 overall six foot two one 97 with fly the zone and elite edges 90 speed 89 acceleration 90 agility if he's going for the bare minimum again i've talked a lot about this that defensemen specifically it's very hard in that middle range that aren't master set players but are base cards and you're looking for that those upgrades on defense this card could be half decent for you just because he's got 90 speed and 94 defensive awareness 86 body checking is okay i wouldn't activate elite edges on him but again you could probably do worse for an 88 overall defenseman at six foot two his x factor also hits tier nine he's got fly the zone as one of his abilities you can go thief on the other he does unlock seeing eye which is somewhat interesting but still not a card i would go out and upgrade uh, just gonna cost way too much uh, and his abilities just aren't worth keeping the upgrade cost so i'd move on if you are investing in the uh in the shea theodore x factor and then we've got this 89 patrick kane with protector and silver truculence 90 speed 90 acceleration 90 agility so it looks like they took away from his skating a little bit and then threw it into his body checking so these are cards that it looks like they're just taking away attributes from some from places that they normally are very good at or or different areas and just throwing them to somewhere random or somewhere different so it makes the card builds a little bit more interesting 93 body checking with silver truculence on patrick kane would be sweet however his skating kind of takes a hit which is kind of necessary because he's only 510 177 so i don't know how i feel about this but if you try him out let me know we got the new 90 overall primetime bo horvat for getting traded to the new york islanders with heart and soul and silver quick draw this is one of the better centermen in the game just based on face-off rating he's got an exceptionally high face-off rating right now it's at 95 but silver quick draw makes him extremely viable if you can't afford someone like a uh, jay beagle for example or you don't have austin matthews team builder having a card with quick draw is important in my opinion at least one just so that you know no matter what near the defensive zone uh you've got a good shot at winning almost every draw he's got 88 speed and 88 acceleration 90 agility which is super mediocre but he's got 90 shot 90 hand stats so again if you can find him for the lower price of what 90 overalls are going for this isn't a half bad card taking a look at some of the rewind players we've got the 88 paul holmgrim six foot three 209 with wingman gets his speed up to 89 as a right-handed winger he's going to be a pure winger though with 73 on the face-offs and just really doesn't do anything exceptional other than the fact that he's six foot three 209 so unless you're a flyers fan or someone who's a big fan of paul holmgrim i'd probably move on one of the most random master set players we've ever gotten from last year i believe the randy carlisle he gets an 89 510 201 left-handed defenseman with magician and seeing eye i think seeing eye is okay but for being 510 you know he's got to be a little bit quicker he does have good body checking uh, but it's still going to be pretty tough to defend when he's only 510 uh, so just keep that in mind you might be able to get him for the cheapest price of 89s which might make him interesting just because defensemen are kind of mediocre uh, just you know like I said in that range where base cards to master sets but I don't think you're going to be all that impressed with him Kent Nielsen gets one 89 overall with fly the zone and ankle breaker 90 speed 88 acceleration and 88 agility a lot of these icons guys again their skating is so low that it makes them tough to be usable he does have 90 body checking only 85 on the draw and no face-off ability so 
know, not really going to be someone you want to use on 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 center. This have 94 defensive awareness, but again, same kind of situation. If you're not a fan of the player or the team, uh, just would be a pass for me. Dave Taylor is up next. He gets a 90 overall. I remember last year, I think, or it might have been NHL 21. He had a really usable card at one point in the game. But he's got Magician and Puck on a String. Puck on a String's not worth it. 89 speed and acceleration. Mid 90s shooting. Mid 90s hand stats. Only 80 on the draws, so he is going to be a pure winger. Same kind of situation, guys. A lot of these uh, are just kind of recognition cards, not really ones that you'd want to go out and get uh, to improve your team. Lastly, we've We've got Bob Gainey with the 91 overall, six foot two, 190, so good size, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 93 agility. Shots in the high 80s. Hand stats are kind of mediocre as well. He does have 87 on the draw, so even though he is listed as a left-handed winger, I guess you could use him on uh, at center if you are good at faceoffs. He's got 97 defensive awareness, 96 tick stick checking and 90 body checking so very good defensively i think there are probably better left-handed wingers though that you're going to pay the price for um considering he's a 91 overall again off the rush not really one it doesn't activate consistently so it's pretty tough to hear we've got a couple new milestones as well the 89 brent burns with gladiator and 1t 86 speed and acceleration though it's always been the issue with brent burns and I'm not going to lie, like, he's been kind of a sluggish skater in terms of acceleration, but, you know, he always gives up two-on-ones, but he gets back, you know? I mean, he's always got to dive down to try and break up the two-on-one. Uh, good defensively, though, 94 body checking, uh, but still six foot five, 230 as well, so he's absolutely huge. And he has a really good wrist shot, but it's just, unless you are exceptional defensively uh, or you're someone who just plays squad battles or offline, it's just going to be awfully tough to use him in an online game. We did get a 90 John Tavares as well with applesauce and tape-to-tape, -tape, and, man, all of these cards were release today just no no one that's very good at skating and i know speed isn't the end-all be-all but you just have to consider the alternatives if you're going to invest your coins like i said guys if you are a fan of these cards i would make sure that you you know always have your favorite players if you're going to spend up for a 90 overall you might as well save up for 130k and you can buy that 93 john tavares the game day tilt version he does have 90s on 90 on the face off though so he is viable at center and center is the one position where you don't need exceptional speed so if you uh, aren't able to get that game day Seal card for about 130 140k this john tavares could be a decent alternative okay guys not a ton of content to go over today but jb eagle finally gets his card art i will be away uh at the all-star game i'm leaving at the time of this recording in about seven hours and uh, i will be back on sunday so i've got some pre-recorded videos i apologize won't be able to give you live content upgrades uh updates but i also will try and get out to the new event on friday's video i'll see if i can record it after the skills competition but i thank you guys again for tuning in and I will see you guys in a, in a few days. Have a good one.